Mayong buntag mga kingsonan na napunta sa panahon sa putoon sa pulong sa gino pinagi sa tabang sa balang espiritu. Hinaot asa man mo karon na mo sa mayong kondisyon o good health huwag mag-focus sa pagtoon sa pulong sa gino. Before we begin our Bible study, if you are a believer in the Lord Jesus Christ, be sure you have named your sins privately to God the Father. In 1 John 9, If we confess our sins, He is faithful and righteous to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Then you will be fellowship with God, filled with the Holy Spirit, and ready to learn Bible doctrine from the Word of God. In John 4.24, God is His Spirit, and those who worship Him must worship in spirit and truth. But if you have never believed in the Lord Jesus Christ, The issue is not naming sins. The issue is faith alone in Christ alone. In John 3.36, He who believes in the Son has eternal life, but he who does not obey the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God abides on him. Ugbay na na, magagahintag pila kay Segundo, magasugod ta. Magaan po tama kagsunan. Ama na Diyos, salamat sa bago na pong adlaw, sa opportunity nga magatoon sa imong pulong. Salamat sa tabang sa balang espiritu nga masabta na may imong pulong. Amahan ito gyan ako ng adlaw, dili ni maging useless, dili ni maging kawang amahan. Magiging rewardable kini. Ito gyan ako yung mga kanakan, magka-focus, o magka-concentrate sa pagtoon sa imong pagtulungan. Kaya yung tanan akong ginatugyan, akong ginapasalamatan sa pangalan ni Jesus, among Diyos yung manluwas. Amen. Sa Hebrew Anon, Kapitulo 4, Versiko 12, Kaya ang pulong sa Diyos, buhi o nagalihok ang gamhanan, labi pang mahait kaysa sa padang aduay sa lab, o mudulot nga ito sa kitagbuan sa kalaw o espiritu, sa mga lutahan o sa makayukan, o mutungkad sa mga nahon na katiyuan sa kasing-kasing. Sa ikaduat ng Timotio, Kapitol 3, Versiko 16, Ang tibuang kasulatan, ipaginhawa sa Diyos at may kapuslanan, alang sa pagpanudlo, alang sa pagbadlong, alang sa pagtulid, alang sa pagmatuto sa pagkamatarong, aron nga ang tao sa Diyos, mamahimong hamtong mo sinangkapan, alang sa tanang mayong bulaton. Sa ikaduan ng Timotio, Kapitol 2, Versiko 15, Paningkamuti pag-ayaw ang imong kaglingon sa tubangan sa Diyos, Ingon nga na himutan, usa ka magtatrabaho, nga dili kinang lang magkakaulaw, nga sa hustong pagi magkapatundo sa husto sa pulong sa kamatora. Mga kaigsunan, ang topic na ito karoon is seven figures of Christ and the church. Bago ta mag sa itong topic, ginabalik na ito no, ang three phases of believers. Phase 1 is the salvation. Phase 2 is the Christian way of life. The phase 3 is the eternity. In phase 1, which is the faith in the saving work of Christ alone, kung asa nakuha na ito ang positional sanctification, na pinagi sa itong pagtuo kang Heso Kristo, na itong Diyos o mong luwas, eternally secured na ta with God. Huwag na natin kagawasan tungod kang Kristo. We live in Christ because of His righteousness. And then in phase 2, faith in God's word through principles, Promises, doctrines, and techniques, which is the experiential sanctification. Tungod sa application nato sa Word of God, natay experience niya nakuha. O tungod ani, time to time nagmadaugon ta again sa enemies, pinagi sa pagsunod sa mga pulong sa gino. O tungod ana nakuha nato ang atong goal ng spiritual maturity. Huwag maging victorious dito sa kalibutan. Huwag against yung Satan. Pinagi sa pag-study na to sa Word of God, which is composed of principles, promises, doctrines, and techniques. And then sa phase 3, which is the ultimate sanctification, after sa tong phase 2, maabot sa phase 3, pinagi sa rapture of the church or physical death. Huwag once maabot sa phase 3, makuha na to tong glorified body. Kung wala pa yung rapture, na interim body. Huwag once maabot ta sa phase 3, we are with God forever. Huwag dili na siya mawala sa tua. 
Ug tungod ana makuha na ato mga rewards nga atong giaguan while in earth o natay mga positions and ranks nga makuha sa millennium reign with Christ and then in the eternity we will be with Jesus Christ forever and ever then ang atong pagtulunan nagafocus sa principles in order to be a success believers kailangan to mag as infant in Christ which is mo ni mga tao nga bago pa lang sa kaluwasan o once nga nagkakaon sila sa pulong sa Ginoo nagaapply sila sa pulong sa Ginoo na himo silang adolescent in Christ which is mo ni ang mga magtutuo nga nanay mga doktrina silang right love of mentality pero dili pa jud sila nagmadaugon tungod kay mas taas pa ang oras nga nag-agree sila sa old sinful nature kaysa sa Holy Spirit mao nang time to time nakasala sila o wala sa himong ilaw or a sin sa ubang mga tao and then once nga nagatubo sila spiritual nang pinagi sa pagtuon sa pulong sa Ginoo o once taas na ang ilang panahon sa pag-obey o pag-agree sa Holy Spirit then mahimo silang spiritual maturity which is dere magglorified ang Ginoo sa tuwa once maabot ani nga level o mahimo tang hero of faith or invisible hero o pwede pa ta mahimong friend of God which is we are the circle friend of Christ na nagitawag ni Lord Order of the Royal Knighthood which is mo siya ang ultimate victorious for each believer tungod sa naasalay intimate nga relasyon with Christ in eternity then ato ta sa introduction seven new testament figures of Christ and the church illustrate the intimacy of the relationship between Christ and believers in the church age each picture reinforces the truth that fellowship with Jesus Christ is the only thing that can satisfy our souls each picture also points to the organic unity of the church and reinforces the truth that all church age believers are irrevocably joined to one another mga kaigsoonan sa new testament natay ginatawag nga figures of Christ and the church which is ginahalimbawa ni Kristo nga siya ang nay authority sa church unsa man church mo ni siya ang mga magtutuo kang Kristo once nga nagatuo ka ang Isu Kristo nga imong Dios ug manluwas isa ka sa mga church wala na siya nagaisgot og building wala na siya nagaisgot og temple nagaisgot ni siya sa matag tao nga naay kalag nga nagatuo kang Jesus Christ ug na siya mga figurative nga mga statement in the relationship of Christ and the church ug we all know tungod kang Kristo ang church na creature na bugna siya kung wala si Christ wala ay church ug sa atong panahon karon which is we are in the church age ug every church age believers na sa responsibility toward God the Son which is Jesus Christ ug si Jesus Christ siya ang atong model siya ang atong idol nga ginatanaw para magmadaogon ta sa atong Kristo nang pagkinabuhi tungod sa prototype nagibuhat niya pinagi sa tabang sa Holy Spirit na atay pattern na pagasundugon para maparehas kang Christ na nagmadaugon while living here on earth una na figure between Christ o sa tua nagaisigot sa shepherd o sheep the shepherd and the sheep pictures the utter helplessness of all believers and the extent of the Lord's tender love Makita na to sa John 10 chapter 2 verse 16 atong pagabasahon But he who enters by the door is a shepherd of the sheep to him the doorkeeper opens and the sheep hear his voice and he calls his own sheep by name and leads them out when he puts forth all his own he goes before them and the sheep follow him because they know his voice and a stranger they simply will not follow but will flee from him because they do not know the voice of strangers these figures of speech jesus spoke to them but they did not understand what those things were which he had been saying to them jesus therefore said to them again 
truly truly I say to you I am the door of the ship all who came before me are thieves and robbers but the ship did not hear them I am the door if anyone enters through me he shall be saved and shall go in and out and find pasture the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy I came that they might have life and might have abundantly I am the good shepherd the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep he who is hireling and not a shepherd who is not the owner of the sheep beholds the wolf coming and leaves the sheep and flees and the wolf snatch them and scatters them he flees because he is a hireling and is not concerned about the sheep I am the good shepherd and I know my own and my own know me even as the father knows me and I know the father and I lay down my life for the sheep and I have other sheep which are not of this fold I must bring them also and they shall hear my voice and they shall become one flock with one shepherd mga kaisunan the shepherd is Jesus Christ the sheep is kita wala na lain pa there is no other great shepherd than Jesus Christ Jesus Christ is the great shepherd ang tinood ng sheep ang tinood ng magtoto is nakaila kay Kristo so how can you believe Christ kung wala ka kaila siya kung asa ang iyang pagtulunan dito ka kung unsa iyang plano sundon nimo mao na siya ang atong motivation mga kaigsoonan nga kita as a sheep natay responsibility nga motuman kung unsa ang ipabuhat sa toa ang tinuod ni Kristo hanon dili ni siya dipay-lipay lang usahay na ay mga tao o kawatan nga mustil o mukil o mudestroy sa atong oras pero siya nga si Jesus Christ nihatag gihatag niya ang Holy Spirit para mo protection ana sa mga butang ang isa ka shepherd tinood nga shepherd kung maabot na gani ang crisis ginaprotektahan dyan niya mayo ang iyang mga sheep pero kung isa gani ka shepherd nga giarkilahan lang ginabayaran lang para mabantay sa mga sheep pag once maabot ang isa ka crisis or example na ay wolf nga mo abot pasagdan niya ang sheep o ang sheep mamatay dyan siya tungod kay kaunon man sila sa wolf or any beast hindi niya hayaan ngayon niya mga sheep pagkapat yun lang hindi na proteksyonan niya mga rigsona kita ang sheep si Christ ang shepherd we must follow his voice mga rigsona kung once gani sa itong kinabuhi i-question na to siya siya wala na question sa to ah once gani ang isa ka ship muliko gani sa street nga dalan ginakuha niya na o ginabalik sa street nga dalan mo ang disiplina sa mga magtuto so kita mga kigsunan whether we like it or not once nga ikaw ship na sa gino kang Kristo Jesus wala na yung makakuha sa iyo mga tungod kay He is omnipotence all powerful we are eternally secured o bili na mawala sa ito ang kaluwasan kay si Jesus Christ ang nagprotect sa ito na pa yung mga versikulo mga kisunan sa John 21 verse 15 to 17 so when they had finished breakfast Jesus said to Simon Peter Simon son of John do you love me more than this? he said to him yes Lord you know that I love you he said to him ten my lambs Jesus said he said to him again a second time Simon son of John do you love me? He said to him, Yes, Lord, you know that I love you. Then Jesus said, Shepherd my sheep. He said to him the third time, Simon, son of John, do you love me? Peter was grieved because he said to him the third time, Do you love me? And he said to him, Lord, you know all things. You know that I love you. Jesus said to him, Ten my sheep. Now, nga no katuluman ginag-question ni Jesus Christ, si Peter, kung gigugma ba dyan ni Peter si Jesus Christ kabalota mga kiksunan once gani ginabalik na to ang question or statement sa isa katao ginapasabot yun na to siya kung sa atong ibig sabihin kailangan na to 
ma-assure ng iyang answer is affirmative. Tinuod yun. We all know si Peter reject na si Christ during the persecution of Christ three times. O karon gi-challenge ni Jesus Christ si Simon three times. Kita mga kaigisunan, gina-question ba nato itong kagalingan kung ginagugma ba nato si Christ? Kung wala pa i-question na ito, basig nakalimuta sa itong responsibility. Pwede tamahin mong shepherd like Jesus Christ. Kita magbalantay sa itong mga kaigsuunan, sa itong mga anak, sa itong mga parents, sa itong mga kaigalaan. Nga pakanon sila o pulong sa gino, nga mudako sila nga nagkinabuhi dira sa pag-ubay sa pulong sa gino. Nga once na ay mga crisis or problems nga maabot sa kinabuhi, ma-overcome na na tungod kay puno sila sa nutritious nga mga pagtulunan nga ginahatag na to sila. We are the shepherd also mga kisona. Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of all. We may be not as good as Jesus Christ did, but we may fairly enough be like Jesus Christ. Then my lambs, feed my lambs. Then shepherd my sheep. So like Simon, mga kaisunan, maupo na itong responsibility. Once you have a gift of teaching, you have a gift of pastor, you have the responsibility nga imong ginapakaon sa imong congregation is tinuod siya ng mga pagtulunan tinuod siya ng pagkaon tinuod siya ng nutritious ng pagkaon dili poisonous ng pagkaon dili makahatag o sakit ng pagkaon mga kaigsonan so muna ang challenge sa to ah nga kita gitagaan po ta o responsibility nga magiging minister sa atong co-Christians o ka na nga responsibility dapat atong buhaton time to time o mabuhat na nato na pinagi sa atong persistent and consistent learning and applying the word of God then Christ is the shepherd who provides for the sheep life liberty, protection, provision, guidance, wisdom maturity, opportunity, and divine happiness siya naghatag ane sa tawang makikisunan logistical grace mga temporal blessings nga nakuha na to protection sa mga sakit like COVID provision ng mga pagkaon guidance sa mga laing tao sa kaaway wisdom sa mga pagtulunan sa pulong sa gino nga itong gina-apply maturity in order to know the standards and applying it opportunity nga mahimu siyang blessing and divine happiness nga unsa man ang may tabo sa atong kinabuhi we must be happy muna gingon sa 1 Thessalonians 5.18 give thanks in all circumstances for this is the will of God for you once you are happy then it means nakaabot ka sa spiritual maturity nakuha ni mo ang divine happiness or the sharing happiness with God as the God shepherd the crucified Lord laying down his life for the sheep mo ni kita mga kaisunan gihatay ni Jesus Christ ang kinabuhi para sa tuwa in John 10.11 I am the good shepherd the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep kaya niya ibuhis ang yung kinabuhi para sa sheep mo nang gibuhat ni Christ sa tuwa kita kaya kaya ka na ito magpakamatay para sa itong mga sheep para sa atong pagtulunan para sa atong ginatuuhan mga kaisunan kaya ba nato? that is a question hantod buhi patadri sa kalimutan and then as the chief shipper the returning Lord is the source of eternal blessings and eternal reward for those who followed him na siya mga blessings ang inahatag sa to rewards blessing in time while living here in earth and reward in eternity in heaven so ginaprepare niya na para sa tuwa para sa iyang mga sheep na nag-follow sa iya. In 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 4, And when the chief shepherd appears, he will receive the unfading crown of glory. So once maabot na si Jesus Christ, ang chief shepherd na to, tagaan ta sa atong Jew, kung unsang atong ibuhat, samtang natanday sa kalibutan sa face to. 
as the great shepherd the resurrected lord sustains and supplies believers with every good thing in the plan of god in hebrews chapter 13 verse 20 to 21 now the god of peace which is jesus christ who brought up from the dead the great shepherd of the sheep through the blood of eternal covenant jesus our lord equip you in every good thing to do his will working in us that which is blessing in his sight through jesus christ to whom be the glory forever and ever amen mga kaisunan ginasupply anta sa gino sa atong needs physically ginaprovide anta sa nina pagkaon then spiritually na ang holy spirit na ang word of god na ang si jesus christ sa tuwa ang god the father sa tuwa nga dili mo buhi kung unsa may maitabo sa tuwa mo'n challenge sa tuwa makisunod kaya ba nato buhato ng ginabuhat ni christ or dili can we become a good shepherd or we never can be a shepherd sa ikidwa mga kiksunan, the vine and the branches pictures that all sufficiency of Jesus Christ and the production in our lives that comes from communion with Him. And John chapter 15 verse 1 to 7, I am the true vine and my father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that bears fruit, he prunes it. That I may bear more fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have spoken to you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine, so neither you unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me and I in him, he bears much fruit. For apart from me you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away as a branch and dries up. And they gather them and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it shall be done for you. What a great analogy ni Gihatag ni Jesus Christ sa relasyon niya o sa mga church age believers. Nga siya ang vine o kita ang branch. O once gani, dili ta mo abide sa vine, which is Jesus Christ, dili ta magbear of fruit. Once nga nag-abide ta sa vine, ka bear ta fruit. Once wala ka nag-bear of fruit, then ang vine dresser which God the Father ginatanggal niya na o ginasunog niya. So kita makisunod ginhangi din lang ko nga padayon jud ta mo dikit kan Jesus Christ. Ug makadikit nang ta siya pinaagi sa pagtuon sa pulong sa Gino. Wala nay lain pa spiritual nga mga butang mga butang nga dili makita mao na atong i-priority kay nadira nagalihaw ang Holy Spirit dili sa atong makita nga physical kun dili sa mga spiritual nga mga butang Jesus Christ is fruitful through branches that draw their life from him all life flows through the vine so kita dependent sa vine kung ang vine dili siya mabuhi di po ta mabuhi Pero tungod kay ang vine, which is Jesus Christ, na-resurrect man siya. So, kita po, ma-resurrect po ta. The branch can do nothing on its own. Kita, kung pinagay sa itong kagulingon, na maluwas ta. Wala dyan na siya may tabo. Christian fruitfulness has to do with abiding with faith, with receiving, never with working from human strength. Only in Christ can we bear fruit and only when yielded to the Holy Spirit can we bear fruit. Once you are a believer, then you must bear fruit. Ug makabear ang tog fruit once we yielded to the Holy Spirit. Fellowship and walking to the Holy Spirit. Nadira ang mga fruits. Kung sa gani ang mga fruits, that is the gentleness, the love, the kindness, the patience, faithfulness, joy. Mga na siya ang mga fruits of the Spirit. Ug makuha lang ni mo na once nag-yield ka sa Holy Spirit mga kaiso na sa ikatulo the chief cornerstone and the stones of the building pictures the invisible spiritual temple being built by Jesus Christ in 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 5 to 9 you also as living stone are being built up as a spiritual house for a holy priesthood to offer up a spiritual sacrifice acceptable to God through Jesus Christ 
For this is contained in scripture, Behold, I lay in Zion a choice stone, a precious cornerstone, and he who believes in him shall not be disappointed. This precious value then is for you who believe. But for those who disbelieve the stone which the builders rejected, this became the very cornerstone, and a stone of stumbling and rock of offense. For they stumble because they are disobedient to the word, and to this dome they were also appointed, but you are chosen race, a real person, a holy nation, a people for God's own position, that you may proclaim the excellencies of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. Mga kisunan, once you are a believer in Christ, you are the living stone. Pero kung once gireject ni mo ang builder, which is si Jesus Christ, you are a stumbling stone and a rock of offense. So once you are a believer, ikaw ang nagpaligon sa isa ka building. Tungod, once ang isa ka tao mo decision nga motok ang Christ, then na nagadungag nga living stone. O si Jesus Christ ang atong precious cornerstone. Siya ang atong chief cornerstone. Kung wala siya, tanang living stone nga nagakonek siya, matumbara. Pero tungod sa iya, siya atong foundation. Tanang mga living stone, nakaligon po. Israel had a temple, the church is a temple, a dwelling of God in the spirit. So, kita ang temple sa gino. Munang gingo no nga, our body is a temple of Christ. So, di ato pwede ni huga-hugawan mga kiksunan. Kaya kini atong lawas, dilig na ni ato ako, di iyan sa gino, siya na tagiyan. So, kung ginabuhat na ito ang sexual immorality, drunkenness, mga butang nga dili iya sa ginoo, mga butang nga immoral, then sure jud ang disiplina mo about sa mga once nga magtutuo ka in Ephesians chapter 2 verse 22 in whom you also are being built together into a dwelling of God in the spirit so kita gibuild ta uban kang Kristo tungod sa tabang sa Holy Spirit the cornerstone aligns and ties together the entire building believers are related to each other as stones built on one foundation Kaya sa itong foundation, si Jesus Christ. In 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11, For no man can lay a foundation other than the one which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. It takes many stones to make a building, and all are dependent on each other. The stones themselves do not do anything except allow themselves to be fitted together by the builder. Kaya sa itong builder, si Jesus Christ. Matthew chapter 16 verse 18 and I also say to you that you are Peter and upon this rock I will build my church and the gates of Hades shall not overpower it. Maski pag si Satanas makiksunan walay maka overcome sa church nga gitukod ni Jesus Christ. Not a physical building but the spiritual building nga gibuhat niya. Start sa church age na panahon. In number four, the high priest and priest of the temple pictures the relationship of service shared by Christ with believers. In 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9, But you are chosen race, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a people for God's own position, that you may proclaim the excellences of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. In Revelation chapter 1 verse 5 to 6, And from Jesus, the faithful witness, the firstborn of the dead, and the ruler of the kings of the earth, to him who loves us and releases us from our sins by his blood. And he has made us a kingdom, priest to his God and Father, to him be the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Mga kaigsunan, si Jesus Christ ang atong high priest, and we are also a priest. Mga sa atong function, as a believer of Jesus Christ, priesthood to God. The relationship between man and God. So, nanatay direct access sa ginawa mga kiksunan. Dili pareha sa unang panahon, sa panahon sa Israel, na kailangan pamuagi o tao para 
papasaylo ang ato sa lahat kita na natin direct access sa gino pinagi lang sa atong pag-ampo so we are the chosen race makisunan we are the royal priesthood so si Jesus Christ ang nag-intercede sa tua para kung unsang atong mga request yatag samahan and also the Holy Spirit intercede us o kita tungod kay we are the priesthood we have a direct access sa kung unsa ang atong request the function of Old Testament priest was to represent the people before God Jesus Christ is our high priest in Hebrews chapter 6 verse 20 where Jesus has entered as a forerunner for us having become a high priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek kaya si Melchizedek muna siya ang high priest mapagsuna he is a priest forever in Psalms chapter 119 verse 4, The Lord has sworn and will not change his mind. Thou art a priest forever according to the order of Melchizedek. Because he is also the king, we are members of royal priesthood. As priests, we are to offer worship and sacrifice of praise of intercession and of ourselves to God. Tungod kay si Jesus Christ ang atong hari and we are the members of the royal priesthood, not a responsibility to worship him to offer sacrifice of praise dira kang Jesus Christ in Romans chapter 12 verse 1 I urge you therefore brethren by the mercies of God to present your bodies a living and holy sacrifice acceptable to God which is your spiritual service of worship so mga kingsunan dapat time to time nagbasa tas pulong sa gino that is the sign of worshiping Jesus Christ Time to time, nagatubo tayo spiritual na nagaplay tasi ang mga pulong. Wala tayong nagabuhat o mabotang na dili iya sa ginoo. Tungod kay we are the priesthood. Ang isa ka priesthood na siya responsibility nga naga worship, naga praise sa hari sa tung king which is Jesus Christ. O once you are a true believer who look for the eternal things dapat pagbuhaton nimo ni Makigsona. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 15 to him which is Jesus Christ let us continually offer up a sacrifice of praise to God that is the fruit of lips that give thanks to his name. Padayon Makigsona nga ang atong kagulingon ihatag yun ato sa Ginoo. Manang gingon no nga dili na kita ang nagtagiya nitong pagdingon si Jesus Christ na. Once you believe in Jesus Christ kasi nga na nga tak na ah, dili na ikaw ang tagiya sa iyong lawas, si Jesus Christ na o once siya na tagiya whether you like it or not kailangan juga mo sunod sa iyang kabuboton which is, as a priesthood we offer worship nagi sa pagtuon sa pulong sa ginoo we must intercedes to him pinagi sa itong pagampo and then praises pinagi sa pag-apply sa mga bulhaton na iya Kristo. And then, ato ta sa kalima, the head and the body is the most often used description of Christ and the church. It pictures the unity of believers and authority of Christ. In Romans chapter 12 verse 5, So we who are many are one body in Christ and individually members one of another. In the human body, each member has a specific and individual function. Each member, though different, is necessary. All members take their orders from the brain, but all by nature serve the other parts and exist solely for the function of the whole. The church is one body, the body of Christ. Every believer is placed in Christ at the moment of salvation. Mga kiksunan, every believer na siya different gifts. Na ay gift of teaching, gift of minister, gift of evangelism, gift of uh, teaching, gift of giving, gift of helping, gift of governing. So na tayo different gift mga kiksunan. O tungod ah, na nabuo ang atong body which is ang head na to, si Jesus Christ siya mang head so siya atong brain o tanan nga orders gikan sa brain in a nature ginasunod na na siya pero wala na to ginaubos bang parts nga mga gift just like if you have a gift of pastor teaching dili ni mo downgrade kung ang isang mga kaigsunan isang gift niya is mercy Ah, tungod kay mercy ra na iha, paloy-loy ra na iha. 
ako ang mas dako o ako ang mas grabe o responsibility kay nagatudlo yung ko no remember we are part of the body of Christ o each one natay responsibility natay pagabuhaton to fill the hole in the body of Christ nga natay mga function to each believer dili pwede nga ginadowngrade na to ang uban na to makiksunan we don't know in the eternity nga katopay nun nga ang gift is mercy lang ang mas dagan pag rewards kaysa sa imo ha tungod kay he humbled himself wala siya negative reaction kundi li, solely nag function siya sa yung responsibility as part of the body of Christ In 1 Corinthians chapter 12 verse 13, for by one spirit we were all baptized into one body, which is in the body of Christ, whether Jews or Greeks, whether slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of one spirit. Mona ng equality makiksonan. Wala ng equality dili sa kalibutan nga gender, status in life. Dili na mao ang equality ang ginisgot. Ang equality nga ginisgot isang pagiging part sa body of Christ nga natay different nga responsibility or function nga ginabuhat nato to fill the whole of the body of Christ siya naghatag sa tua o order then ginasunod nato na sa salvation whether dato o pobre pwede maluwas whether guapo pangit pwede maluwas whether tiguang or bata pwede maluwas makikisunan. So, muna siyang equality na ginisigot sa pulong sa gino. And all are exhorted to live as one. So, ginapataas ta. Muna nga na, we heal as one, we are exhorted as one. So, sabay ta nga muasin sa makikisunan. Pag once nag-function ang body ni Christ. So, that is also the figure relationship between Christ o sa toa nga siya ang atong head which is siya ang naghahatag sa toa mga orders and then kita ang body which is kita nagafuhat ang iyang mga orders and then the sixth the last Adam and the new creation pictures the risen Christ as the head of a new race a new species of creation in 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 45 to 50 so also it is written The first man, Adam, became a living soul. The last Adam, which is Jesus Christ, became a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural. Si Adam na makiksunan uh, tungod sa pag-disobey niya, nahimu siyang natural. Then, in the later part, nahimu po siyang magtuto, spiritual. The first man is from the earth, which is earthly. The second man is from heaven, which is Jesus Christ. Sama sa Christology nga subject nga gikan siya sa langit nagpakumbaba niya ni sa kalibutan nagpakatao sama sa to a flesh to pay our sins mo oh, diman pwede ang magpay sa sala nato is katupong na isala kuni dapat katong limpyo ug wala na buhat nga sala as is the earthly so also are those who are earthly and as is the heavenly so also are those who are heavenly And just as we are born, the image of the earthly, which is Adam, flesh, na panganak tanga flesh, we shall also bear the image of the heavenly. Now I say this, brethren, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, nor does the perishable inherit the imperishable. So once we decide to believe in Jesus Christ, we have a regeneration, pinagi sa work of the Holy Spirit, o karon na spiritually alive tata from physically alive but spiritually dead na himotang spiritually alive pinagi sa tong pagtukan Jesus Christ nga tong Dios sa mga luwas tungod kay Adam niabot ang sala o kamatayon tungod kay Christ niabot ang righteousness o eternal life the first Adam brought sin and death the last Adam brought righteousness and life by spiritual birth Believers have become part of the new creation, but the glories of this relationship await heaven when all believers will be released from their sin natures and will be given bodies like the resurrection body of Christ. Remember, in the rapture of the church, kita ang old sinful nature mawala siya. 
o tagaan ta o resurrected body same with Christ nga nakuha niya 3 days after sa yang physical death during sa crucifixion niya diri sa kalibutan Galatians chapter 5 verse 17 for the flesh sits its desire against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh for these are in position to one another so that you may not do the things that you please money siyang bersikulo makiksunan nga always na ako ginabutang sa akong right love of mentality tungod kay once kay ikaw isa ka magtuto dili ka dapat mo desire sa mga butang nga naadis sa kalibutan which is flesh Kundi dapat ang i-desire ni mo is the spirit. Mga butang nga makadungag sa imo og pagtubo espirituwal nun nga makabutang sa imong wisdom para sa application in the future once nga maabot ka sa mga testing or suffering in your life. Kay kini mga butang mga tigsunan flesh man eh. Og wala tay expectation nga once maabot ka sa imong crisis in your life nga makatabang ni sila mupasamot pa ni siya og hatag sa tuwag kalisod pero kung butang espirituhanon word of God pinagi sa tabang sa balang espirito once mabot ang crisis sa mga kinabuhi then kaya ni mong overcome tungod kay naa kay knowledge nga nabutang sa imong right of mentality o ready to apply once maabot sa imuha ang testing nga imong gipangandama so for the flesh against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh so kung once imong priority karon is more about gadgets more about butang nga nakita na to then sad to say you did not use your time properly so once mabot sa imo ang time nga crisis then you are the loser believers in John chapter 14 verse 2 to 3 In my father's house are many dwelling places If it were not so, I would have told you Before I go to prepare a place for you And if I go and prepare a place for you I will come again and receive you to myself That where I am, you may be also Ang ginoo mga kingsunan Gikan sa iyang pagkunsad Hantod ka ron Nagaprepare ka po siya Sa atong place which is ginaingon sa Revelation Mansion We all know nga ang isa kaadlaw sa Yaha is equivalent to 1,000 years sa toa Kung 1,000 years sa toa is equivalent sa kaadlaw sa Yaha Wala nagdangan-dangan ng ginawa mga kisunan Gitagaan pa niya time ang mga tao na makabato ng kalwasan Dapat ang atong responsibility as ambassadorship magpadayon magasangyaw sa kalwasan o we don't know nga yung gisangyawan mo na lang ang ginahulat para makompleto ang fullness of church age o once makompleto ang fullness of church age maabot na ang rapture o gubanta ni Kristo hangtod sa kanturan ang siya mismo muhatag sa tua o rewards based sa atong Jew o sa atong ginabuhat while living here on earth in Romans chapter 8 verse 23 and not only this, but also we ourselves having the first fruits of the Spirit, even we ourselves grown within ourselves, waiting eagerly for adoption as sons, the redemption of our body. Ang sa itong ginawalat magigsunan, ang rapture of the church, which will happen before the tribulation. O once nga, mag-rapture na, makuha na nato ang redemption, body or the resurrected body nga same kang Christ nga wala na ka sakit wala na ka matayon mga kigsona and then the last nga figure nga relasyon na to kung Christ the bridegroom and bride is perhaps the most intimate description of the relationship between Christ and his church in Ephesians chapter 5 verse 22 to 23 Wives, be subject to your own husbands. As to the Lord, for the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ also is the head of the church, he himself being the savior of the body. So, as Christ is the head of the church, we must be subject to him. Kung unsang iyang plano sa ato, sundo na to. Kung unsang iyang will, atong i-obey. Maring sunan. 
just like in the marriage the husband have the authority to his wife and the wife must be subject to her husband so also in the church Christ is the head we must be subjected to him in order to execute the plan of God Napa humility magiksonan nga magpaubos tungod kay si Kristo ang atong head ug atong sundon kung unsa yang ipabuhat sa tuwa magiksona In Revelation chapter 19 verse 7 let us rejoice and be glad and give the glory to him for the marriage of the lamb has come and his bride has made herself ready Kinsang bride kita nga church kinsang atong groom which is Jesus Christ mahitabo na siya during sa rapture nga bride which is the church makigsugat sa first heaven ug ang groom magulat sa first heaven and then iubanta niya sa third heaven kung asa may tabo ang ceremony sa atong kasal o dito magyatagay na ugante based sa atong gibuhat there is a phase two. It pictures not only Christ's authority over and protection of his church, but also the tenderness, the love, the unity, and the intimacy that will exist between Christ and the church forever. The church is not yet the bride of Christ, wa pa may tabo karon makigsunan, kay nagahulat pa man sa rapture, but will be in the future. Once maabot na ang rapture, then we will become the bride of Christ. She will be claimed by Christ at the rapture and she will reign with him. So kita kwaunta ni Christ whether we like it or not ug maguban ta niya hangtod sa kahangturan ug magreign ta during sa millennium. Okay, makikisunan, klaro ba? In 2 Timothy chapter 2 verse 12, if we endure, we shall also reign with him, sharing in his glory. In Ephesians chapter 1 verse 20 to 21, which he brought about in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at his right hand in the heavenly places, far above all role and authority and power and dominion and every name that is named, not only in this age but also in the one to come. So ang God the Father, gitagaan niya og authority si Jesus Christ na maging dominion sa tanang butang as the head of the church he has the authority in all of us dili lang sa during the time but also sa tanang panahon mga pingsona in Romans chapter 8 verse 7 10 and if children heirs also heirs of God and fellow heirs with Christ if indeed we suffer with him in order that we may also be glorified with him since we are now the adopted sons of God the Father, since Jesus Christ ang the begotten Son of the Father, He is the true sonship, heirship in the throne of God. So we are also heirs because we are the adopted sons of God. But siya jod, si Jesus Christ jod, ang nai authority sa toa tungod kay shaman ang unang nabuhi gigan sa physical death. Pinagi sa resurrection mga kagsona muna itong verse mga kagsona in 2 Corinthians chapter 15 verse 57 but thanks to be God He gave us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ tungod kang Jesus Christ nagmadaugon ta mga kagsona tungod sa gibuhat ni Christ sa cross nagkabaton ta o kinabuhing walay katapusan tungod sa gibuhat ni Christ while living here on earth natay prototype ng pagasundugon para mamugdaugon po dari sa kalibutan tungod sa gibuhat niya we are surely victorious against our enemies against Satan mga kiksonat o gana, muna nga itong pasalamaton time to time tungod sa gihatag niyang grasya sa toa dili pinagi sa tong effort dili pinagi sa tong own works kundi kinig hatag sa ginoo para sa tuwa in conclusion 
This concludes the authority of Christ to the church. His ultimate intimacy in each member of the church was perfect. He has compassion, love, and hope for each believer. He is the model and the source of strength on every age of believers. Without Him, we are surely condemned. Wala siya, surely matutasalina mo kayo. Pero tungod na siya, then it justified us to the heaven. Kung ginaot makiksunan, daghan tayong nakatunan sa itong topic ron. Gwapo d'yo itong topic ron kay kini nag-isgut between God, the Son, Jesus Christ, o sa ito ang mga kiksunan. Kung ginaot, kung naman mo yung mga clarification, questions, and suggestion, please leave comment below sa itong YouTube channel. O bahay na na, magagahintag pila kasigundo sa itong closing prayer mag-aampo ta makiksunan ang mahal na Diyos salamat Diyos sa imong pagkulunan salamat sa balang espiritu nga nagpasabot sa mga man salamat sa imong figures nga gihatag aman sa relasyon ni Christ sa mga inaot amahan na padayon Diyos mi mag-aubay o mag-asunod kang Christ amahan kung unsa ang gibuhat dari sa kalibutan para kami po mong madaugon against sa enemies while napamidri sa kalibutan. Amahan, salamat sa paghatag ni mo sa iyong anak na si Christ tungod sa iya kami nang madaugon spiritually. O kami naging victorious not only in eternity but also here in earth. Tagyan po na ako ang pagpahulay ka ron. Tagyan may provision good health, Amahan nakip ng COVID-19, ma-overcome na mo kini, maging opportunity kini yung mahan sa matagusan ng kanakan. Kinita na akong yatugyan, akong ginapasalamatan sa pangalan ni Jesus sa mundiyos ng mundiyos. Amen.